What is up everyone? Coffee Break is back with another video and the 49ers were victorious on Saturday defeating the Arizona Cardinals in an impressive fashion the way they did it defensively but in this video we're going to look at how the Niners attack from the offensive standpoint and the Niners were playing with their third string quarterback CJ Beathard. Josh Rosen, who they picked up from Tampa Bay's practice squad, was also in attendance. And so the Niners really didn't have a backup quarterback. It was CJ Beathard or Bust. And CJ really did an, an amazing job. And he should, I mean, he should have started over Mullins from the start, it seems like, because Beathard was able to, for the most part, protect the football and just give this team a chance to win. And so let's begin in the first quarter where we see sort of what the Niners have been missing the entire year. We're talking about George Kittle and Juszczyk blocking for their running back. And this should this was the success the 49ers thought they were going to have this year, this whole year. But look at you see both Kittle and Juszczyk pool blocking to the left for Jeff Wilson Jr. who's kind of just a a workhorse in this game with no most dirt a limited Tevin Coleman I mean this is this is what you pay to watch if you're a Niner fan you want Juszczyk and George Kittle making that block look I mean look at that hole incredible the 49ers still kind of struggled protecting the quarterback a little bit I mean it was it was one of their better games, but Arizona was still able to get some sort of push, just like in this one. They just pushed the pocket right right up against CJ Beathard. He had nowhere to really step up in this one. And McGlinchey just not setting that edge as you'd want your right tackle to. And, you know, CJ Beathard had no shot in this one. Watch it from this other angle here. Just gets pushed back and really nowhere to go. So then the Niners do something that, you know, I haven't quite seen. An eight-man protection. Eight men were protecting the quarterback. And only two kind of, yeah, only two was just out for a pass. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I mean, it's better to see it from this angle here. But an eight-man protection is that what it's come down to? Eight man? Let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dwelly did leak over, but at the end of the day, there was eight, eight men protecting on a what it four man rush. So this was literally, you know, you're doubling every pass rush. And Bether, to his credit, was able to throw one here to a uke for a first down. Now, something we completely missed here is George Kittle, right? George Kittle has been truly missed on and off the field. His press conferences are one of the best up there. Here he gets on a play action bootleg and he's going to leak over. He's right over here. You see him leaking over. I mean, that's, that's, Shanahan's bread and butter right there and then that yak there's that yak we talk about and he's not he's not going to the sidelines are you kidding me he's gonna run up the field and that cutback here that cutback is a signature kittle is I'm laying I'm laying the hammer somewhere so it's the attitude that he brings the attitude of I'm not going out of bounds I'm cutting up field that's what the Niners have been missing all year this next play I want to talk about, it just reminds me how much this league is a copycat league. You know, a week ago, the Niners saw this against the Cowboys. Cowboys, I think, were at a fourth and one. And the tight end sneaked it over here. Juice check just takes a snap for a quarterback sneak. And I saw this. I mean, I even saw this in college. You know, you just go up, snap the ball, and up the field you go. Call your number. Just a copycat league. If it works, hey, try it, try it on your own. It worked here for the Niners. 
some things never change either. Like Jeff Wilson Jr. catching a Texas route for a touchdown. That happened last year, if you remember. Jimmy Garoppolo threw that, and that was the game-winning touchdown to beat the Cardinals last year. Seems like Vance Joseph doesn't know how to slow down Jeff Wilson Jr. when it comes to a Texas route. And it happened earlier in the year, too. Moster was able to beat Simmons for that, Isaiah Simmons for that, you know, incredible catch that he ended up taking for like, I don't know, 80 yards. But here it is again. It shows up again. And that's going to continue to happen until the Cardinals show that they can stop it. Here's Jeff Wilson. Just watch him. He's just going to run that little arrow route. Boom. It, uh, I mean, that's all day. You're going to put a linebacker up against these backs? Good luck. Could have been Mostert. Could have been Hasty. Maybe not Tevin Coleman. He's not He's not the smoothest. But the point is, there it is. Those are the results. Shanahan was having a good day in this one. Now, I talk a lot of smack about McGlinchey. But the truth is, I also give him a lot of credit when he does some good things. And I've always said he's an elite run blocker. But when it comes to pass protection, he just loses his mind, it seems like. Here in this one, he's going to lead the way. He's going to lead the way. Why don't we put it at this angle? It'll be easier. It's going to be a handoff to Jeff Wilson Jr., of course. And, I mean, look at McGlinchey just lead the way here. And it's like you don't stop until you hear the whistle. And McGlinchey has that, as much as we like to laugh about his weight, that kind of helps him when he, when he pulls like that. And cuts up field because he, he runs like a tight end. He's really quick for a, a lineman. But it hurts him in pass protection when he has to anchor down. Here, Niners were able to run on the Cardinals all day. McGlinchey with a nice job there. Now we sometimes fantasize, what if Kyle Shanahan had a dual threat quarterback? Well, we got a little glimpse. Maybe... Not the the glimpse you would want to see if you're a Niner fan, but you at least get to see what could potentially happen if Shanahan gets a hold of a Trey Lance, of a Zach Wilson in the draft. You get this read option from Beathard, and Beathard, you know, I mean, he is not the most athletic guy, but on the Niners roster, hell, he's Michael Vick because he he's the most athletic quarterback it seems like in the in the Niner locker room and he keeps this one for a gain of 17 yards but if the running game is going so well and you have a quarterback that could run the ball I mean this is not again not the glimpse Niners you know wanted to see but you get the idea if you get any athlete athletic quarterback Shanahan now can dial up something. You kind of enter a different dimension. When you have a dual threat quarterback, you enter a different dimension when it comes to play calling. You're seeing a glimpse here. It includes running, but you put the defense on its heels. And good luck, NFL, if that happens. Now, this is what I mean when I say Shanahan was kind of on his P's and Q's. Because there's the little things... And the little wrinkles he adds on a week-to-week basis that kind of separates him from the rest of the pack. But here we see a Uke motioning over, and now you see Buda Baker coming down. Like, that's my guy. But what, what, how, how this play, you see that stutter? That stutter, there's a lot going in under Buda Baker's brain right now. He's like, okay, what is going on? Is this going to be a, a jet sweep? Is this going to be a, a run that way? Is he going to come back or do I need to sit here? He doesn't know. Let's slow this down. He does not know what's happening. But that hesitation opens up this hole for Jeff Wilson Jr. Let's, let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. From the beginning... You see Buda Baker's coming down. He sees a Uke coming over. Then a Uke, halfway there, 
He's like, you know what? I just wanted to make sure you were going there. Going back? Nope. Coming back? Nope. Going this way? And he's stuck in mud right there. Buddha Baker has no choice but to sit there and find out where that ball's going. But that slight hesitation gives Jeff Wilson the chance to cut up field. And it gives, honestly, Kendrick Bourne the chance to even block him. Kendrick Bourne here. That hesitation allows him to even put a hand on him. Buda Baker is one of those players that just shoots shoots up like a missile when he knows where the ball is going. And in this case, he only had the only option he had was to anchor down. And it was that slight hesitation, that stutter move uh, you pulled that allowed him, allowed this play to kind of open up. Look at it from this angle here. Look at that hole. I mean, we could have ran through that. Incredible. Now, not everything was fun and dandy here. Niners did make some mistakes. And, you know, it's always good to point them out. You know, we spoke good about McGlinchey, but here he gets beat. He gets beat. And, you know, if you're Bethard, you have to get rid of this football much sooner. You see, you see, I mean, you see, you have to see that guy get, get beat. I don't know if you saw him, but you have to see that this guy's getting beat. Uh, now, it's one thing if your left tackle gets beat because you can't see him. You have your back towards him. But here, you're there. But it doesn't remove the fact that McGlinchey just got beat in this one. And that, that was a fumble. That was ruled a fumble. I think that was an incomplete pass. But that's just me. Yeah. That's the thing with Bethard processes things too slowly for me but in this one for Bethard for a third string quarterback he played outstanding so this was kind of the only hiccup he had in the game and McGlinchey is the one that kind of forced that but Shanahan kept he kept going to his strength they ran the ball they kept running it and this was just another version of what the the 49ers kept doing that a uke reverse. This is normally Debo, but a uke handles it perfectly. I mean, a uke handles it just as good. You know, you just want maybe your your quarterback not to jog there. Just run, just run. Try to see if you can block somebody. But you know, that's always an easy fifteen yards every time that pulls off, and and especially you know somewhere where you least expected this is a first and 10. This is a perfect opportunity to call this. You know, you just pitch it right back. Easy first down. Easy first down. That's one thing Shanahan really does well is when things click, you'll get the, these easy first downs. You know, these 15 yard, easy 15 yards where you just allow a player to make plays, run in the open field, kind of how they do in college. And... That he has the right personnel, Kittle, Ayuk, Debo, Moster, and now we're seeing that Jeff Wilson Jr. to just allow them to be players, allow them to make plays. Now this was probably Beathard's best throw here. This is a, a second and eight kind of drive in here, and you're gonna throw it to Beathard. They they spread this out. They spread this out, and so. You see now, they're playing a lot of man. Kind of like a cover one. But they're playing man pretty much. And he's going to throw it to George Kittle for a gain of, uh, I believe, 22, 27 yards. Nice. This is a nice throw. I mean, that stutter move. I mean, this is what Kittle does. He's a wide receiver playing tight end. Look at him. Boop. Yeah, good luck trying to cover him one-on-one -on -one there. Just a, a mismatch nightmare. And that was Shanahan saying of, okay, you're playing man. Yeah, we'll, we'll spread him out. And we'll see if you can cover Kittle. Obviously, it didn't work for, for Arizona. Now, I did say that was probably Beathard's best throw of the day, but I kind of take that back. This touchdown pass here, it was precise. 
it was exactly what you want from a quarterback to throw in this t- sort of play. Let's rewind this a little bit. This play here, they're going to fake the handoff, right? Use check is going to fake block, leak over, right, over to the flat, and Bether just throws a beautiful ball, hits him in stride for the touchdown. You couldn't ask for a better throw here. I mean, you just got to hit him in stride, and he does, turns around, scores the touchdown. That is the best throw from Bethard for the night. Fake the handoff. Nice block there by Jeff Wilson and, you know, Juszczyk, who had a couple, a pair of touchdowns in this one, scored on a brilliant play call by Shanahan. So good throw, good play all around, well executed. And the Niners were just able to run the ball, like I mentioned, against the Cardinals. I mean, Jeff Wilson Jr. had a hell, a hell of a game. He's going to run this one for 34 yards. Kind of sums up the night for Arizona. And almost scores a touchdown there. But Jeff Wilson, who, you know, is very underrated when it comes to um, the 49ers roster position, is uh, showing you that he can be a workhorse. I mean, he he took a boatload of carries in this one. A boatload. He was a workhorse. And he got it done. And this was one example of how mean and angry he runs. Breaks that tackle. And, you know, Arizona at this point was almost finished. I mean, they got they did have uh, another opportunity due to uh, Robbie Gold missing a field goal. But, you know, 49ers were were phenomenal in this game anyways folks uh let me hear from you what did you think about the 49ers performance here against Arizona I know it doesn't mean anything but it should mean something when you see your players you know running as hard as Jeff Wilson is and you see guys celebrating even before the play's over um yeah let me know in the comment section below what did you guys think about the Niners coming out here on offense against Arizona. Thank you all for watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.